Hi there, this is Art and Such with my Rainbow Loom tutorial for Miss Peregrine from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. For this pattern, you're going to want some black bands, skin tone bands, some brown or beige or tan bands for the nylons. And for the eyes, I'm going to be using a couple of just black beads today. But if you have white beads and you'd like to draw on the pupils, you can do that. I'll show you how to attach these a little later using dental floss. Okay, so these are the beads I'm going to use here. You can also use bands, but you'll want to pick a color other than black because black tends to blend in a little bit with the hair here. Uh, we're going to need a couple of hooks, your loom in the offset configuration, and a couple of C-clips. And with that, we're ready to begin. Let's make our arms first. We start with two skin tone bands, or one if you really want to save your, save your bands. A couple not too stretchy here. Put them on the end of your hook. Twist, wrap one, two, and three times. And this is going to go onto a doubled over single skin tone band. Take it, stretch it, twist it, put it back onto itself. Gonna place it at the end of the hook and bring your hand over and replace. And then we're switching to black and we're gonna do five doubled over black single bands. So that's one, two, three, four, oops, that didn't go through all the way, let's make sure it does, and five, and from here we place this onto four sets of double black bands. So you want to take two bands together, stretch them, put them on the end of the hook, and pull your doubled over bands over, and three more sets of double bands. This way we get a nice puffiness to the sleeve, but it tapers down towards the rest. So there is one, and we need another <clears throat> another arm, so we'll do the same thing. Two skin tone bands, wrap them one, two, three, four times, three or four. Put it onto a doubled over single skin tone, and then onto five doubled over single black bands. And on to four sets of double or two black bands. It's one set, two sets, three, and four. We're going to push this down a little bit and move on to our legs. For those, you're going to take a single black band, wrap up one, two, three, four times onto your hook and pull that onto double bounds and onto another set of double bounds and a third set. From here we're going to switch to the color that you're using for your leg or your nylons and I've got this and a mid-range brown here, brown here, and we want four sets of double bands in that color. Make our other leg single black band wrapped one, two, three, four times onto three sets of double black and four sets of double brown. 
And I forgot to mention, I am going to try to make, um, to show more of the black hair on the right side of Miss Peregrine's face. You can see this first time around, I did it sort of in profile, but I'll add a piece of black on the side. We'll see how that turns out. That'll be one of our last things though, so kind of getting ahead of myself here, but something to keep in mind. And that way you can choose whether to add that piece or whether to keep her kind of in profile after all. Okay, we have our two arms and our two legs and we can go to the loom now. We're gonna start at the top center and come down twice with double skin tone bands. Oh, three times with double skin tone bands. And then take double skin tone bands and stretch them from your second center peg to your second peg down on the right. And two from the second center peg down to the second peg down on the left. And on either side, we're gonna now come down starting at the second peg and using black bands, lay down double bands right to the end of the, of the loom for actually each of our rows. And we're gonna have a little bit of shaping to do. Um, now just before we proceed, I did add some thickness right on the, from the third peg to the fourth peg. So I'm gonna take this off for a second and I'm gonna add some bands because from the third peg to the fourth peg, I want there to be seven bands all together. Just remember that. And the same on the opposite side. So one set of double bands and then the next set will have seven bands in total. If you feel that's too much, you can always use fewer. And now, now from here, the rest of the way is going to be just double bands to the bottom. So just take a minute, almost there. And we're going to have some extensions and kind of add-ons to do on the sides here shortly. going to do, um, we can add our legs on now actually, we'll get this stuff off of our hook. Let's take two bands, put them on the end of your hook and transfer the legs on. We're going to stretch this from the bottom, one, one bottom side of the loom to the other. So straight across, and then get your hook in between the legs and raise the black band over the bottom most center peg. your arms can go on to the second pegs down on either side. Turn this around so I can make sure I got everything on there. We're going to take a single black band, wrap it one, two, three times, and place that onto two black bands, and stretch that from the top side peg to the second peg down on the side so that it's sitting over the arm. We want one more for the other side. And this is going to make like her shoulder pads, it's going to make the shoulders nice and puffy. Next up, we've got to put some holding bands on. And so we're going to take a single black band, lay it across the third, third pegs down for each of the rows. It's going to form a triangle. 
and on the next one we want to do a doubled over single. Now we'll go across the fourth pegs down and the rest are going to be single black bands forming triangles on each subsequent set of three pegs. So if it's easier you can stretch it across and then bring it up and over. I'm just in the habit of bringing it up and around. I feel like that makes it go a little faster, a little smoother. You can always use your hook as well if that helps you to place it. Next up we've got a side chain to make and that's going to make the bottom part of the dress a little puffier. For that we're taking a single band, we're going to wrap it one and two times onto the hook and then pull that onto seven sets of double bands. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. We're going to count down from the top of the loom on the side until the sixth peg down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is two below where you put that lump of seven bands. And you want to transfer the bands from your hook onto that sixth peg down. And then at the very end of the chain of, um, of that chain, you're going to find that first wrapped band. It's going to be kind of a loop at the middle or at the bottom. Get your hook in there. And we're going to place that onto, try and do this without twisting it, the bottommost peg on that side. And then we take one piece out of each part of the chain and pull it over each of the pegs that are in between. And this keeps it nice and tight. And then uh, the side of her dress isn't going to flop, flop around loose. This is almost like an extra set of holding bands for the, the new addition here, the new piece. We need one of these for the other side. Single band wrapped once and twice onto seven sets of double black bands. One, two, three, oops, almost lost that one there, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to flip my loom around and put this on the sixth peg down on the opposite side. It'll line up with the, the first side that we did. Make sure you've got all of those. I'm almost losing one myself here. Pull to the bottom of your chain and get inside. Oh, something slipped. Sorry guys, give me two seconds. You can see there's a loose piece there. Right at the bottom too, huh? Wouldn't you know it? Okay. Well, at least they're all in sets of two now. That should make this a little faster. If you got this, if you got this on already, feel free to jump ahead a couple minutes. I'll be right with you. We're going for that bottom piece of the chain. And you want to try to get inside all three loops and put those on the bottommost peg. Once more, we want to stretch it out, get inside, and pull a piece out of each part of the chain and onto the pegs in between here. We're almost on the body. I think we've only got one more piece to add and then we'll just double check it and then we can loop. Okay, so our only other thing to do then is to add the little coattails at the side. For that, we're taking a single band 
block band and wrap it one, two, three times. We're going to put that onto two block bands. Put the other side back on the hook and we're going to transfer all of this directly from the hook onto that sixth peg down where we started uh, extending and stretching out the skirt there. One for the other side, single wrapped one, two, three times, and pull that onto two bands. And I just noticed my camera's kind of got knocked out of angle there. I'll show that to you one more time just in case you missed it there. So single wrapped one, two, three times, pulled onto two bands. Then we're going to turn this around and put it. I just like to stretch it a little bit, make it tighter, and then slide it onto that sixth peg down. And then we can start looping. So I'm going to start at the side. And there's a bottom row of bands coming along the base here. Each one coming from the peg above. So what you want to do is take the open part of your hook, point it up and away from you. And push back all of the bands, except for the bottom two. We're going to grab those and bring them up and forward. And I only caught one, so I'm going to pull that down again, up and forward. Push it down a little bit and push back your holding band, get your next two, and we're going to continue upwards until we get to the second peg from the top. Just bear in mind when you're at that fourth peg from the top, you will have seven bands to loop. And you can loop them all at once, or a couple at a time, or one at a time if that's even easier for you. Everything else, you just want to push back everything but the bottom two, and take those forward. Okay, here's our big one. I'm going to try and grab them all at the same time. Carefully, carefully, and push. And last two up. And now go to the band on your top side peg and we're going to bring it over and down onto the second peg. So we've just folded it downward. Go inside for the bottom two skin tone and bring those to the second center peg. And let's go up on the opposite side. We're going to do the same thing. Bottom two bands until we get to that set of seven. And then you want to get all seven of those, and then we're just going, going straight forward here. Now you can always turn your loom around if you're having a hard time finding the bottom ones. This right now I'm actually finding it easier because when I pull this back, the only other bands under that holding band are the ones that I need. Pull it back, and those are my next two. This one's a little harder because there are more bands, but you will see the they're not going to pull back the same or as easily like if you just start at the top here then what's underneath is going to go i'm not sure if that makes sense or not but you you'll get the feel i hope okay we've got all of those all the seven feel free to pause if you need a little more time on that one loop up one more time and then we're going to fold the bands from the top peg down to the second peg Come inside for the skin tone and loop close to the center. All right, one more row to go. It's the center row. And for this, we go right under the bottom most peg, grab the two and bring them forward and loop straight to the top of the loom now. If you see any, any loose bands along the way, try to grab them and secure them. You can use a C-clip. You can possibly backtrack and fix them depending how, um, how far down they are. You can also possibly weave them to the top or weave them in later. Okay, and let's go to the top. Hold on to the bands on the top center peg. Um, I'm getting really frustrated with this camera. We are going to take this off the loom, but don't lose the bands on the top center peg because that's what's holding this all together. So I'm going to start at the side and the top and use the back of my hook to ease the rest of the body off.
do that for the opposite side. So it's going to take some of the tension off of your bands and off of your loom. And both those things will make this easier to remove a, a clean finished product here. Take off some of the body here carefully and put your hook through the bounds on the top center peg remove. Just give everything a little adjustment. Anything loose can be secured in the back and we're going to set this aside while we work on the face, on our face. Okay, next up, <clears throat> take two black bands and come from your top center peg to your top right. Two bands from your top center peg to your top left. Um, actually, the bands that are coming from your center to your left, we're gonna add four more so that we have six there. That's gonna make it nice and puffy. And then I, I'm just checking my notes here, but I do believe that I Second, another part. Just a second. That looks like I didn't write this down. I'm usually really good about that. Oh, I did write it down. That's right. Okay, so six bands also from the top side peg on the opposite side to the second peg down. So six bands here and six bands here. Next up, we have skin tone bands double bands coming down three times in the center. Oh, wait a minute. Let's put in one more set of black bands down the center. Double bands, just two. And then we'll come down three times with double skin tone bands. This pattern's confusing me a little bit because it's kind of different from the ones I usually do. Just the way that these extra bands are set in here. It has a nice effect though. Come down to, uh, twice on the far side, the right side with double bands and two bands from the fourth peg down on that side to the fifth peg down in the center. On the opposite side, we're gonna lay down two black bands from the first peg to the second, and then two sets of skin tone bands. We're gonna mirror what we did on the opposite side. And once more to the middle. Let's put on our holding bands next. We have doubled over single skin tone bands across the fourth pegs down, triangle formation, across the third pegs down, and then on the next one, another doubled over single across the second pegs down. We can put our eyes in. Um, I was gonna show you how to do this with dental floss and I pulled my dental floss out and there it is. You can take beads if you have beads with smaller holes and put some floss through them both. And then it's going to go through a single skin tone band. We loop it back over and back through. If your beads have a larger hole, you can transfer them onto the band using a hook. And if you're using bands for the eyes, you can wrap each of two bands three times. And then... Um, put those onto the band directly. So this is gonna go from the second peg down on one side to the second peg down on the other side. And we're gonna put our hook in between, separate and pull one part of this down over the third center peg. Okay, so there's, this is the band in between them. We've just pulled it down. Now I really wanna watch carefully that I'm not missing anything for you here. So we are going to put a chain on the left side. Let me move my, my body onto the loom first so it's out of the way. Place it neck down onto the fifth peg down. So the bounds on your hook are going to go to the fifth center peg and you want to make sure that it's facing upwards. I'm going to press it in there just for now so it's out of the way. And then for our side chain, take a single black band, wrap it one, two, three times and place that onto four sets of double bands. And we're 
we're going to lay this, um, transfer this to the top side peg on the side closest to you. And you want to put your hook through mm -hmm, the bottom most link in the chain. So not the cap band, but the next link above that. I'm trying to get a good grasp here and grip here. And we just want to take one piece of that and put it around the fourth peg down on the side. Just check if that's what we've got here. Yeah. And one piece out of each of the other chains onto the intermediate pieces again. Okay, so it's stretched one piece out of each part onto there. And this is just the bottommost piece. It stretches back up there once you've got them on. Now on the very top left, we're gonna add an extra little piece here. This is optional, but I'll show you how to do that. You would take a single white band, wrap at one, two, sorry, black band, I'm not sure why I'm saying white. Wrap it about four times and pull it onto a doubled over black single. And a second doubled over black single. And we wanna put this right onto the top left peg where we just laid that chain. Now if you like this look and you just want it in profile, you can finish here and loop it up. And the only difference in looping is you're not going to have any extra pieces to loop. You would just loop the skin tone and straight up this row. Otherwise, I'm going to also show you how you can make um, an added little puff on that side. And I think for that we would take a single black band, wrap it one, two, and three times. Mm. Now you could actually decide if you wanted both sides to be as long, you could repeat the same chain on the opposite side. I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter, I think, for this other side. So I'm gonna take a single, wrap it about three times, place it onto double bands, and then onto double bands again. And I'm gonna put transfer the bands from the hook onto the top peg on this opposite side and grab a piece out of the chain below to go on to the second peg down on that side. Okay. So as I said, you can, that's probably, I'm thinking, going to give us a little black right around here, but you can always make it longer. We're going to do this as an experiment. And we're ready to loop. So go under the neck, find your top two. So if you stretch on this neck piece, you want to find the next two bands that are sitting above the others, and those go to the left side. Go back for the next two, and they're going to go up diagonally to the right. The last ones are going up straight. And then we can loop up the sides and just do a straight forward loop. So push back, grab the bottom two, forward. Push back, grab the bottom two, forward. And loop to the, the last six to the center. I'm going to pull these to the side so I can get all of them. Make sure everything else is pushed back. This is a really hard one to see. And opposite side, loop straight to the top. And if you have this extension, then the only difference, like I said, is you'll want to push that back as well when you're going for the bottom six here. And again to the middle. And loop up the center starting at that fourth peg down one, push back the eyes two and three times. And we're going to get one or two black bands. Put your hook through the bands on the top center peg, and you want the open part to be facing away from you. Grab that band, pull it through, and put the other side on. Pull one side over the other to secure and you can put this on a c-clip or leave it on your hook and we're going to take this off the loom in one second okay let's use this off i'm going to use my other hook here it's tough when the bands are that thick huh oh, that's all for effect 
good effect it has, so we're going to go with that. We're almost done. You just need to pop out the eyes, draw on pupils if you have used white beads. We're just going to adjust the shoulder pads a little bit here. You can tug the puffy part to the front more. Let's turn it to the back, and we're going to hide our securing band under a couple of other black bands. So put your hook through some nearby bands. Grab that securing band, pull it under, and put it on a C-clip. If you have any other loose bands, you can weave them in or just put them on a separate C-clip themselves. And that's pretty well it. I think we're I think we're done. You can see these shoulder pads are still a little loose. So what I'm going to do is take my hook, I think, and pull it in a bit from the back side. And that way we can secure it there so that it's closer to the front. But that's something you can play around with a little bit. There we go. And your Miss Peregrine is done. You can also tighten up this um, piece where we connected the chain. So if we go in through the face, let's just do that as well before we close this off. harder time than I did the first time. There we go. You can press this onto the same C-clip that you put your securing band on if you want to. Just make sure that's not slipping off at the same time. And there we go. Okay, so there's Miss Peregrine with the extra hair on the side and without. And like I said, you could play around a little bit with lengths. But there you have it. I hope to get more characters for you soon, and I thank you for watching.